Ben here. Time for another episode of First Bite. We're reviewing Starbucks today. Kind of unusual. Dan reviewing Starbucks. Dan, the iconoclast with a Starbucks cup in his hand. Okay. So, Stephanie, this is her favorite order. She's been hounding me to try this. I sent her a cup of coffee on DoorDash just about every day. She loves this. Uh... I'm okay with instant coffee. Pour a little instant Cafe Bustello in the thing. Pour the hot water over it. Whatever. Coffee's coffee. She swears by this. So this, what is the, I don't even know what this order is. I had to pull it up on DoorDash and show him what I ordered her last time and say, hey, can you just make this for me? Because I don't know what the f I'm even saying. Like, I know those words, but the sentence doesn't make any sense. Like, Grande, flippy, uh, vanilla, blonde, espresso, 2%. Stephanie, trying the coffee order. Jesus Christ, that's good. Was it worthy of a Jesus Christ? Maybe, maybe not, but it was good. Um, but I like the foam. I, I, I get that part. I get that. Do we need five pumps of the sugar-free vanilla syrup? Do we need five pumps? Five, really? The two espresso shots, I get it. Do we need five pumps of the... I like the roast of the coffee itself. It's good. I mean, if I had better coffee, I mean, yeah. I mean, this this isn't necessarily my kind of coffee, but that being said... If I'm coming to Starbucks, if this is going to be a thing, which it's looking like it's going to be a thing, and if Stephanie's going to drag me to Starbucks, instead of just sitting there with my elbows on the table and my head in my hands, wishing that we could go to a real coffee place, I might as well order something. I'm getting this. 8.3 coffee. It's good coffee. For Starbucks, for Starbucks, I mean, Stephanie, all you're right. Nice call. Did you think that I was going to say that she wasn't right on camera? No. No. I knew going into this that it was going to be an 8.3. Whatever. Good coffee. That's been Dan with another episode of First Bite. <laughs>